I was just watching a YouTube video about Russia and um, their economic crisis right now. But really, Russia isn't the only country that has an economic crisis. Several countries are in debt. The whole world was tanked, taking huge loans because of the pandemic. And uh, I was thinking about it and not a whole lot. Who's making money right now during the war in Russia? Inflation's getting really high. How's it profiting anybody? What what these wars are, modern wars. And the people who are profiting right now are money lenders and weapons manufacturers and munitions companies. So, well, to make the musician, munitions, there are companies that supply the weapons manufacturers with your natural resources like steel and all those different, you know, ores, mining ores that are mined, electronics component makers, and stuff like that. And, uh, Those are the companies who always, during the wars, the big wars, like since the World War, have profited. Like Ford, Ford the, the, the auto manufacturer, he was making tanks for Hitler. I think they kind of started this stuff, you know. We got Boeing, Lockheed, Martin, and uh, we got all around the world. Beretta, different man, gun manufacturers, and CZ, and, uh, you know, all the different companies, Glock, and Colt, and it's just uh, Remington, Smith & Wesson, but all these companies, because civilians are buying up small arms. America, where there's half the world's small arms are owned by civilians in America. So, it's just the money lenders and people are, are cashing in one way on the war by uh, investing in these weapons manufacturers and the different companies that are uh, supplying the war with uh, munitions or resources to make munitions so and I, I you know I, I, the gold goes up some of the silver stuff like that so what profit is there right now in all the wars if a whole country's tanked but a few weapon manufacturers and then some of the the mineral or in some countries everything's owned like kind of like in a socialist communist way where where uh Nobody's earning money. Everybody's, you know, I mean, uh, there's some dictator probably making people, killing people to take the gold from the gold miners, but I don't know, killing gold miners off, slaving them, not paying them something, so he has money, but. Anyway. Monarchs, princes, you know, they take the wealth away from people as much as they can. The bankers right now, the money lenders, cashing in. And that's what I say, you know, weapons manufacturers, nobody talks about because they're scared to talk about them. Because you can't really accuse them without being an idiot. 
of doing anything but make, make weapons. Everything speculative is kind of slander, you know. It's, it's obvious that they make the weapons for the military. But they're obviously, obviously they're who the only ones earning money. See, a lot of these wars may be just to, in these commotions and stuff, may be just to get other countries to buy weapons from these manufacturers, these huge security corporations that go over there, different things like that. G5 or whatever. I don't know. I guess it pays to be a weapons manufacturer, but um, it's kind of retarded, you know. See, because we're human, and being human, you know, song, dance, eating, drinking, worshiping God, you know, your family, life, whatever, social life. That's uh, what living's about, but this engineering stuff, you know, it's like, it's about, they try to make it, we're machines, they gotta study us, they gotta come up with a machine to help us, they gotta do this, they gotta do that, because that's how they earn money, and destroy the earth in the process. Food scientists trying to make up phony food, cause phony food crisis, everybody buy their food products, and on and on, you know, but the only people right now I see during a war with all this economic crisis is uh, the weapons manufacturers and money lenders to buy the weapons or to manufacture them. How much Ukraine is in such you know, a lot of debt. They, all, a lot of military weapons they have either given, I don't know how much they're going to get in return, how they're going to pay it back. I'm sure all that can be arranged. It's just uh, who's going to arrange it, what's the terms, and what's what's it going to be like on the people, you know? What kind of, uh, do they lose their, their heritage? Do they lose their country's resources? What, what's, you know, what's happening? So, we'll see.